Good morning, y'all. My name is Gypsy, and I am here at my solo show. And um, I thought I would talk about uh, a few of the individual pieces. Uh, this piece right here is called I Shall Not Be Tamed. Um, and this is a portrait that I did of uh, a man named Leo. Um, he let me take some pictures of him a few years ago. Um, Leo is a uh, photographer. He is, plays in the orchestra. He is, um, he plays bassoon or oboe. I can't remember. Eh. Forgive me, Leo. It's one of those two. Um, he is a smooth salsa dancer. I have seen it in person. Um, he loves to go barefoot. <laughs> when I went to do the photo shoot, uh, it was cold and wintry out, and he walked right out of the house with no shoes on. <laughs> so he is a, a nature child. Um, he is also sweet and kind and gentle and friendly, and as you can see, he has the best smile. Um, I love this piece. Uh, because it's probably one of the best paintings I've ever done. Um, but also I feel like it epitomizes the title of my show, uh, which is Fluid. I'll read you a little bit of what I wrote about it. Um, the definition of fluid, the most simple definition of fluid, first one I came up with in Google is uh, a substance that has no fixed shape and yields easily to external pressure. Now you can read into that in, in uh, all different kinds of ways. In the show, I tried to um, show as many different uh, physical examples of uh, what fluidity could be. However, um, fluidity is actually more of a psychological and emotional state. Um, our external identity is often labeled by societal standards and norms, and our actual ident identity is formed through internal experience, right? So this, by this assessment, we all exist in a fluid state, constantly fluctuating between those two things, how we're assessed externally, how we assess ourselves internally. Um, the emotional impact that that has on an individual is immeasurable. Only that individual can know what that impact is. Um, the more fluidity one must exercise, the more energy is expended, the more emotionally and psychologically taxing it is to endure, navigate, mature, and master this internal dialogue with grace and wit intact is the definition of resilience. Leo is the definition of resilience.